Wow. She's a beauty, ain't she? Yeah. What kind of gun is this? That's a tranquilizer gun. If any of these little fuckers decide to freak out on the kids, I get to take them down. <laughs> Ain't that right, mother? <laughs> oh, what? That's what I thought. Shut up. <laughs> hey, hey! Be careful with that. That's the most powerful trank gun on the market. Huh. Got her in Mexico. Cool. Yeah, it is cool. They say it can puncture the skin of a rhino from a hundred... Yes! That's awesome! What? You just took one in the jugular, man! <laughs> Whoa! Yes! <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god, I did! Is this bad? Is this bad? You should pull that out. That shit is not cool. Wait! Wait! Pull what out? The dart, man. Got a fucking dart in your neck. You're crazy. You're crazy, man. You're crazy. I like you. But you're crazy. What's going on, guys? So it's Thursday, May 17th. This is your cryptocurrency news for today. There's really nothing. There's really nothing important in the cryptocurrency space right now. It's really just garbage news, really a lot of speculation, no concrete evidence really of anything significant happening. I try my best to pull some important information for you guys. Also some, some important updates and airdrops and stuff for you. So hope you enjoy. So the total market cap right now is 383 billion. We got a Bitcoin dominance of 37%. Uh, we got the biggest gainers right now. We got Syscoin 27%, Augur 16%. IXX coin is just under 12%. And we also have the biggest losers. Cryptonix is 9%. We got Fusion at 8%. And we got Gifto at 6%. So it's not really a lot going on in the market, guys. I don't expect the market to do anything for a while for a couple of weeks. Germany's second biggest stock exchange launches crypto trading of Bitcoin, Ethereum, Litecoin, and Ripple. Now, I'm probably going to butcher this name, but I'll try my best to say it. Borzy Stuttgart, that's the exchange that's doing it. If you want to learn more about what's going on in that exchange, the link is down below. Bitfinex starts sharing customer tax data with authorities. If you have a Bitfinex account, just pay your taxes, man. Don't mess with the alphabet boys, you know, the IRS, the FBI, DEA, etc. Just don't mess with those guys. Just pay them their money. <laughs> if you don't want to pay taxes, man, just go to a country that's tax friendly, Dubai. In Dubai, there's zero taxes for crypto profits. So check it out. If you're going to be making millions of dollars and you know that, just leave and earn in a country where they respect what you do. So Binance will list trading pairs of TrueUSD. So TrueUSD is just another alternative to Tether. Binance announcement comes right after Circle. The Goldman Sachs-backed startup made a similar announcement in which it describes its plans to launch its own cryptocurrency tethered to the US dollar, succeeding a very productive investment round dominated by a cryptocurrency mining company, Bitmain. And true USD is regulatory compliant, so it's legit, according to this article. So London Block Exchange is now listed 0x, so you can start trading 0x on London Block Exchange. So Colossus also got listed on a new exchange, FUBT. It's an exchange in the Asian market. They will be giving away 18.3 million clocks to five different people to incentivize them to trade more on the platform. So go check it out. Congratulations to Colossus community members. So a minute's cryptocurrency will be airdropped to NAM holders and time holders. The link is in the description for the details of the airdrop. Go check it out. A Laris token for a revolutionary gaming platform will also be airdropped to eBoost token holders. The link is in the description below about how to get involved in the airdrop. I'll post it down below. So there will be another airdrop of BBC tokens to each of 100k most active accounts on HitBTC. The link is in the description below the details of the airdrop. Go check it out if you guys are interested. So BBC token is called Tradove. <laughs> I'll read what it is because I had no idea what it was. So just as Facebook connects friends and LinkedIn connects professionals, the current Tradove platform connects business partners with its business social network. The next generation platform will utilize blockchain and AI driven social networking technologies to further shorten the corporate buyer and seller discovery cycle, enhance B2B transparency, expand user trust, and allow for company to company precision advertising. Additionally, the BBC coin will provide a better payment instrument for international trade. The SEC creates fake ICO websites to educate investors. 
So the U.S. Securities Exchange Commission has launched a spoof initial coin offering website, dubbed Howie Coins, in a bid to educate and warn investors of dangers posed by the ICO Wild West. SEC is currently pursuing a dozen companies for allegedly conducting ICO exit scams. However, the U.S. agency is not content with dealing with fraudulent ICOs after the fact and instead hopes to educate investors to prevent such scams being successful in the first place. So more information about this whole article and what they did is in here. You can also go check it out on the SEC official website, which is what I suggest you do for any news like this. China initially banned trading cryptocurrencies last year, but now China this year is ranking the cryptocurrencies. This whole issue with China is just annoying and ridiculous, but from their point of view, I can understand why. But from their point of view, I can understand why they might be against cryptocurrencies. It's because the way that people pay for things, a lot of people pay for things in China is they use a lot of phones. They use Alipay. They also use WeChat to pay for everything that they go buy in the stores. China spent years setting up this whole infrastructure in place and cryptocurrencies came in there and they pretty much do what China has been doing a lot better than them. People are just more excited about cryptocurrencies because there's gains to be made. So that could be one of the reasons why China is against them, which is what I think is really simple. It's eating away at all the marketing dollars that they spent to create this infrastructure. So China rated 30 cryptocurrencies. I'm only going to name a couple of them. The top five, they got Ethereum, Steam, Lisk, Neo, and Komodo. I'm surprised they don't even have EOS up there. That's uh, kind of crazy. And it's funny that they have BitShares here, but the person who created BitShares, Dan Lima or whatever his name is, he's the one that's creating EOS. EOS is supposed to be way better than BitShares. It just goes to show the person or the people who did this don't know what they're talking about. And I don't agree with Steam being second. There's no way. Anyways, guys, the article is in the description. You can check it below to learn more about their ratings and why. So this last article is just something fun that I just thought was a little bit funny. So this is like the rating of the greatest shit coins of all time. The six greatest. In no particular order, I guess. So number one, we got Dogecoin. So Dogecoin initially got to a market cap valuation of $1 billion. People put $1 billion into this shit coin that did nothing. It just goes to show you how crazy crypto is and how exciting it was. <laughs> You know, so next we got Trump coin. I don't know why people created this shit, but it's trash. Next we got Jesus coin. Hey, I was actually thinking about buying Jesus coin the second it got released because I know people were going were gonna buy it. And boom, the thing went up like times ten when it just dropped. So I missed it. And then it was too late to get in. So damn. I would see this coin and I said oh, I could have made some money on this. I, th I think the token definitely crashed. So penis coin. There's actually a penis coin? Damn. Anyways, guys, you guys you guys get the point of this. And there's also Fuck Token. So you guys can check check it out. Learn about these shit coins that people had. Because I bet you when crypto blows up again, these coins are going to go back up in value. Because like, there's new people that's going to go on crypto and be like, wow, what's this? Wow, what's that? They're going to fall into the same traps that everybody else fell into. So, hey, that could be some money-making opportunities right there. Not financial advice, though, guys. And this last little bit of information that we got together for you guys is just like, and this last little bit of information that we got together for you guys is just important dates of significant things happening for different tokens. If you're interested, guys, just pause this and write this stuff down or just screenshot it. But it just tells you different dates of main nets and test nets, different dates where the price might pump in different cryptocurrencies if you see something happening, right? So I just thought it was valuable to show you guys this. I'll just read the top 10. We got Oyster main net coming up May 29th. We got Tron main net May 31st. Same as Divi. We got Nullis and Fusion May. We got EOS June 2nd, Origin Trail. We got June 29th and VeChain June 30th, same as High Performance Blockchain and Fusion. We got Ontology in June, Credits. We got the rest of these coins in June. Ontology, Credits, Daddy, Enigma, The Key, Theta, and Eternity. That's just an important piece of information that you guys should know. This was Case 7 from Cryptopedia. We got more cryptocurrencies and more news and reviews to come. And I'm out. <laughs>